got something exciting to show you. Finally, at long last, I made a little adjustment to the solar panels. Alright, here it is. I have been able to add one of the solar panels that Doreen sent to me. I have a four-pronged connector that thankfully was compatible with everything. So I've hooked up one of her 300-watt panels with my 300 watts of Renogy. These are still the Harbor Freight on the small battery. And I had a time getting the little connector thing apart. I don't know if you can see down there. Yeah, that's a four-pronged one. Okay, so I'm going to go inside in just a minute here and show you the improvement. And yeah, I've moved the solar panels back a little bit. So let me show you what's going on inside. Okay, this is upside down, but I've only had this other panel on for, I want to say, 30 minutes. And it went from 72% to 100%. And let's see how much we're getting in. 12.8 amps. A little bit ago, it was like 13 point something. And that is the highest I have ever gotten these batteries to. And it happened all in about a half an hour. Now I'm going to explain to you uh, a little bit more about what I'm actually getting by adding that other panel. Phew, I worked up a sweat doing that. I had a hard time getting those little MC4 connectors apart, but I did it. All right, so I have three 100 watt solar panels that have been connected and they've been doing a pretty good job, but some days not so much. I connected one more solar panel that Doreen gave me, and it is a 300 watt solar pa solar panel. So, when you do that, when you mix, you know, wattages, it's everything else is consistent except for it's a 300 watt panel, and the Renogy solar panels are 100 watt. So I'm not gonna get 300 watts of solar out of that panel. It's going to be more like mm, 150, 200 maybe. It's, it's going to default down to the lowest common denominator, which is a 100 watt solar panel. So instead of having 600 watts of solar out there, I really only have, I mean, there's a calculation you have to do. I really probably have between 4 and 450 watts, but that is still an improvement. It just got that thing going. So what I might end up doing on another day, because I'm tired and I'm sweating, I might take both of the 300 watt solar panels, connect them with the two connector that I have, and then put them with the large battery bank, because I'll have 600 watts, truly 600 watts going on out there. And then take the Harbor Freight solar panels completely off, and I've got another smaller battery that I've been charging with those, and put the Renogy solar panels and attach them to the smaller battery. So, whew, yeah, this is this is awesome. Thank you so much, Doreen. Um, I can't wait to put that other one in use. I'm just, oh, I, I wish I had a five connector, you know, MC4 connector, but I don't even think they make those, to tell you the truth. So, anyhow, I'll keep you updated on how that's going, and I'm going to go ooh, get a cold beverage, wash my face. <laughs> Goodness. Look. They finally got up there. Hooray! I threw some feet on there, that's why. Very cool. I think they'll get up there and sit down and take a little rest every now and again. Oh, he's stretching. You're such a beautiful rooster. This may be getting old to you, but it sure isn't to me. Look at them. Practically all of them in there, just less three of the leghorns, all in there together. I just love watching them, but you know what? I gotta get some more dirt in there. And since the chickens have pulled up all of the stuff in the race beds, well, I think I can use some of that soil and add some more wood ash. We're gonna be golden. Just look. Is it weird for me to just really love sitting here and watch this? I love it. Oh my gosh. The chicken zealots are really going to be after me now. This 
This is Coco. Look at her pretty colors. I don't know if you can see, the sun is going in and out of the trees, but the feathers on her back are starting to turn. The tips are kind of like a blue-greenish color. And then she's got this pretty brown. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's a good girl. She sure is pretty. Yeah, I think it's about time to cut these lilies back. They're looking pretty shabby. Mr. Lucas told me once they start dying off, it's a good time to cut them down to the ground. So that's what I'm going to do. It's done. It looks terrible, but it had to be done. It had to be done. And yep, these things spread like crazy. So I guess I'll go put this over on the compost heap. And I did it with these. Surprisingly sharp. Judy, what you doing? You causing trouble? It's just before 5 p.m. and that's when it starts getting dark. And the chickens are all starting to go in. The leghorns usually go in first. <laughs> yep, they're up there on that little box. You see them? You see them? And pretty soon, Mr. Romeo is going to go in. Then the last two leghorns, and then all of the little girls, one by one. They're just going to go in, and I never have to worry about it. And the procession begins. Yep. Romeo's in. Another leghorn's gone in. Oh my goodness. All the little girls beat the leghorns. One more leghorn. That's the last one. Come on, girlfriend. Go on in. <laughs> Come on. She's like, I'll go in when I'm ready to go in. Come on, girlfriend, go in. And my day is done. This may be hard for you to see, but I always do a head count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, and Romeo's up there. I don't, I can close the door. Not everybody. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.